Hey guys, how's it going? It's General Heat here, and today we're going to be revisiting the secret rideable pelican on the mission Exodus in Halo Reach. I actually just learned about this recently. I never knew this was possible, but apparently it was, thanks to uh, obtaining chaos here. Uh, but basically, what you want to do is you can start at the last rally point for Exodus, and then at the beginning, just use your jetpack. You want to come over here to the edge and just jetpack all the way across. And make sure you carefully land here, or else you'll you won't make it. After that, you want to come over here, and this part can be a little tricky, but just jetpack over here and try to land on these little steel beams over here. If you can't land, if you can't make it to the top one of the first try, then you just have to one by one boost your way up. So just uh, it, it is kind of hard to like perfectly land on it without sliding off, so that's why it took me a couple tries here, but just uh, keep going up and you know, just make sure to wait for your jetpack to fully recharge enough so you can make it. And then once you're at the top beam, just jetpack over here and into the wall over here. And there's a little platform or ledge that you can stand on. Once again, just wait until your jetpack fully recharges because you'll probably need most of it for this. So just jump out and then jetpack up again. And then once you're over here, quickly run to the e edge of this, because you only have 10 seconds to make it, or else uh, the kill barrier will get you. So just stand over here. You'll be safe on this tiny little spot here. And just wait a few seconds. Wait for your 10-second uh, kill barrier thing to um, reset. And once it does, come over here, and then jetpack all the way across on top of the building over here, and the pelican will be sitting right here quickly walk up to it because you're still in a kill barrier here. So once it's over here, you'll notice there's a barrier here and you can't get close to it. But to bring it closer to you, uh, just throw grenades in front of it and it'll push it back just enough that you can ride in the back of it. As you can see, this pelican is a little different than other pelicans in that the inside of it is totally uh, transparent. I believe other pelicans that you were able to ride to in the past, the inside is uh, completely textured or solid but here it is not so yeah that's about all I can do with the pelican you can ride into it you can't fly it unfortunately but I'm pretty sure you can still get into the uh, the gunner seat of it if you have enough grenades to push it back enough but if you want to do that you probably need like four people worth of grenades or at least have one person keep uh, respawning but if you take too long the pelican will drift back forward so if you want to push it back enough, you can get into the uh, machine gun turret in front, then you'll probably need uh, more people. Now this is the pelican that actually flies in later to pick up the civilians once you get into the falcon. And if you were wondering, uh, actually I was wondering at the time too, so we decided to test it out. But what happens if you have one person sit in the pelican while the other person gets on the machine gun turret of the falcon? Is the, fal is the pelican going to take off and fly over here? Well, unfortunately... It does not. You don't get a free ride on that pelican. You just get teleported to the, the other falcon over here immediately. That we had it in hand. So that's scattered. basically it. You Pull can only back. ride well, we've all got orders the to evacuate. Uh, pelican when yeah, it's not some moving. Of us just don't like leaving a job you cannot half finished. ride it as it flies into the map, unfortunately. It would have been cool, but you know, it's unfortunate, I guess. So here it is from uh, the other player's perspective. Well, they're inside the pelican. And in just a second, I will be getting onto the Falcon's machine gun turret. And as you can see, you don't even get to ride the Pelican for even like a bit. You instantly get teleported before it even starts flying or moving. So, yeah, that's basically it for flying the, for riding the Pelican that's outside the map and how to get to it. Uh, for the rest of the video, we got a little bonus thing to show you since we're out here. Um, so going back to the pelican area, once you make sure like your 10 second kill barrier thing is reset, quickly run out here and follow this path so you don't hit any invisible barriers, but quickly run out and come down here so that you can survive. And once you're here, you're basically out of the map even more and you can explore around. Uh, so I haven't done a barrier busters episode recently because I'm temporarily putting on hold due to a few issues with YouTube recently. So. We'll, we'll get back to those eventually, but for now, um, we'll do a little exploration out here, 
as kind of a little, uh, I don't know, light version of Barrier Busters, or a sneak peek, I guess. But, you know, we just wanted to show you a few interesting things out here. Um, there's a few black holes out here, I guess. Well, they're not really black holes. I guess they're more of just black spots on the map. Like, just random ones here and there. See those one back there, and there's one here. They're not actually holes, they're just like, you know, literally black textures. Just at random spots. And, you know, I'm not quite sure why they're there, but they're there. And there's actually quite a few on uh, outside the map here, so I'm just going to show you all of them. Uh, so feel free to stick around if you want. But other than that, I uh, hope you uh, have fun trying out the uh, Pelican. Uh, if you do find a way to ride the Pelican while it's flying away, uh, do let me know in the comments because I'm not sure if we missed anything. But you know, as far as we know, you do get teleported right away. But if there is a way for you to fly the Pelican, just uh, let me know in the comments. So, continuing out here, uh, here's another black spot on the map. This one is kind of covered under another piece of uh, terrain, I guess. And here's a bigger one. Now, like I said, they're just textures. The, the ground is still solid, so if you walk on them or anything, you don't fall through. Uh, I believe there's one more on the map out here. There's also like a few other spots out here where you could like fall under the map and walk around underneath. Uh, but it's going to be hard to get back up if you do do that. Now, if you're thinking you could use this to skip uh, half the mission, unfortunately, you cannot. I know if you're thinking about trying to do a time travel glitch to skip ahead, uh, that would not be possible. Uh, here is the last black spot. It's more of a triangle in this case. Ooh, trigate, right? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but, yeah, so we are... Aside from that, that's the last black spot that we know of. Uh, if there's any other ones, feel free to point them out in the comments uh, if you guys are that interested in it. <laughs> uh, but we are approaching the edge of the map here where uh, it would normally load the next section of the mission. But as you can see, it is not loading the next section of the mission. And that is why you cannot use this trick to get out of the map and skip ahead through the rest of the mission. Uh, I, I remember back in Halo 3, there were a lot of ways you could, like, you know, use the time travel gl glitch to skip certain parts of missions, but not on Halo Reach. Not not that easy, at least. Uh, I guess the last thing they you can take notice of out here is if you zoom in at the distance, there's a few, like, white, glowing white squares out there. I'm not quite sure what they are, but just quite, kind of interesting to see them. But yeah, so that about r wraps it up for this video. Um, yeah, I. Make sure to uh, leave a like if you guys did enjoy this, uh, and you know leave your thoughts and comments and the suggestions. And as always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.